The Warden is the scariest mob ever seen in Minecraft. With a giant health bar and lethal damage, Mojang has always said the Warden is meant to be avoided at all times, and it was never intended to be killed. So I'm going to kill the Warden. I know I said I would kill the Warden, but I'm not going to do it with my own hands. I'm going to set up a trap. And first, I need to get a few resources. Firstly, I'm going to need a lot of iron. And then I'm going to need a lot of pumpkin. But this won't be anywhere near enough. So uh, I think it's time to go home. I really need to name my two locations because I keep calling the old one home. And then I don't know what to call the new one. They're both home. And looking at this, you probably know what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon an army of iron golems to fight the warden for me. Now I just need to go and find some deep dark and find the perfect place to do it. All right, looks like here's my ancient city. So when I explored this ancient city in the last episode, I actually destroyed every shrieker that is around here. So I won't be able to spawn the warden here. But I'm sure if I go off into some nearby deep dark, I'll be able to find another shrieker. Oh, there's one up there. Okay, there's also a couple good options around here as well. What? What is going on here? Have I just found a naturally generated tropical fish farm? There is nine dead tropical fish here. Make that ten. Okay, so the first thing I need to do now is isolate one of these shriekers. And I'm thinking I might do one of these over here. That looks like a good one to isolate. All right, I've surrounded that with wool now, so I don't know if it's able to be activated. Seems... I lied. I thought it was safe. It's not safe. So now that we have a controlled spot to spawn a warden, the plan is to dig a pit, fill it completely with iron golems, and lure the warden into it, all while going completely undetected. But before we do that, roughly 50% of you watching this aren't subscribed. You might watch my videos all the time and think you're subscribed, but you're actually not. So please take a moment and check if that's you. Subscribing only takes one click and we're on our way to 5 million subscribers. So first step of my master plan, I need to dig out my trap and that all begins here. So now I want to start digging down and digging a pit. But now I dug out my trap, I realized if I wanted to spectate this battle, I'd need an area at least 20 blocks away to avoid getting the Warden's darkness effect. And once I'd done that, it was finally time to fill up the room with iron golems. And this is iron golem number one. Five iron golems, 10 iron golems, and now we need to times this by 10. At this point, I do not even know how many iron golems are here, but I know it is not enough. What? What? Wait, I can do that, right? Oh, no, but that needs to be... Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. That was the last iron golem. I feel like I ended up making more than 100, but this is roughly 100 iron golems. And this is what my warden is going to have to face. I was now moments away from spawning the warden. So to ensure I go completely undetected, I made a red carpet for me to walk on. And with all preparations in place, it's finally time I kill the warden. There it is. This is the warden I am going to kill. All right, now we just need to bait it and drag it over this way. At first, it should smell me, so it should come over this way anyway. But let's let's throw a snowball there. Snowball there. Okay. It's gone down there. All right, another snowball over there. All right, just a couple more steps. Come on, you got this. I think it's going. Come on. Yes. Quick, I need to get down there and see. There it is. Get him, Iron Golems. Go. Yes. Kill it. Is it even putting up a fight? I think it's dead already. Hey, you know what? Let's just do it again. Why not? Oh, it's down there. Yes. Get him. Get him. Get the warden. I did not even feel bad. 
I do not feel bad even a little. So I've killed two wardens at this point, and I've found a way to kill as many wardens as I want. But what if there was an even easier way to kill wardens? This was just a fun, goofy way to kill a couple wardens, but in the end, I've kind of made myself a warden farm. And the irony in that is now I actually want to make an efficient warden farm. So uh, I don't really know what to do with my hundreds of iron golems. So for now, I can get out of here because we need to go get some materials to build this warden farm. We're going to need a ton of glass. Then we're going to need some blocks. I guess I'll go with some stone bricks. Oh, we need stone. There we go. Then we're going to need some redstone -y bits. And I'm going to need to make a ton of minecarts. It didn't take long for me to collect every little block I needed for this warden farm. So it was time to head back to the ancient city. But my ancient city is a little bit far away from even the other portal I made out here. So I'm going to make another portal to get there quicker. And now this will be cool because if I put a portal right here, it should lead me to that same portal. Perfect. Which means if I just allow myself to get distracted for one second, we can use this portal frame here to get in and out of this ancient city, which I think will be awesome. So let's do that. There it is. I knew there was lava around here somewhere. So now this is how I'm going to get to and from this ancient city. But anyway, as fun as that was, it's time to get back to the task at hand. We need to make this warden farm. And funnily enough, to make a warden farm, I'm gonna need a single shrieker above Y minus 35, which makes it really funny that I found this shrieker earlier because it is literally perfect. So now all I need to do is uh, safely take out all the, um, the sensors around this thing, and then we can start making this farm. Okay, I already stuffed up. This time it should be safe. Okay, that was better. So now that I've got this Shrieker isolated, what I'm going to do is uh, start building this farm. So let's start off by going up five blocks. I need to build a square platform here for the Warden to spawn on. And now to build the walls around this thing, I'm going to use some glass just so I can see in. I think that might look cool. Now, I don't think this area needs blocks above it, but just to be sure and to make sure no mobs fall in here and ruin anything. So this chamber here is where all the wardens are going to spawn. So now we need to make a way for them to be all pushed into the middle. So that is where these stone pressure plates come in. And if I've done this correctly, all this water should push everything into the middle. For how scary the warden is, this farm is actually ridiculously simple. So this is the spawning chamber done. Now we can dig our way out of here. And now we need to go down and build where the wardens are going to die. Looks like the shrieker I'm using is about as low as you'd want to use because I'm down here at bedrock and I've only just managed to fit it in. It's only just, it's like literally perfect. So down here is where all the wardens are going to die. This is the collection area to get all their loot. Now we need to make the method to actually kill them. And that's going to work through a combination of two things. Firstly, entity cramming. So I'm going to load up 24 of these minecarts slowly one by one. And then there should be so many entities that when a mob falls on it, it will take damage. Now we can destroy this rail. And the second thing is we're just going to place a wither rose on that as well. If we click right there, there, you can see there's a wither rose in the minecarts as well. So now this is almost already functional. Now I just need to build up this uh, tube for the warden to fall down. There we go. And now before I can start spawning wardens in this thing, I need to make sure I spawn proof everywhere around this thing that isn't in my spawning area. And I'm going to do that by placing slabs. I'm fairly certain I've done this correct, so I'm, I'm a little nervous, but let's let's give this a try and let's spawn our very first warden. Okay, it worked. I was a little scared for a second there, but yes, that is on the platform. So now that guy should get pushed down this hole. And we can hear down there that he's dying. And another one's already spawned. That's great. So my warden farm appeared to be working just fine, but I was a little too scared to watch the wardens too closely. 
I don't know if I can stand close to them. So I'm just going to keep my distance for now. But while I was waiting for them to die, I realized it was taking a long time. It's still going. It's still going. How much health do these things have? Okay, there we go. One's dead. The other one shouldn't be much far further behind. Okay, there we go. I suspect I did not put in enough minecarts for the entity cramming. I believe that is my issue here. It turns out I was two minecarts short. But once I fixed this problem, I tested the farm again. And it was killing wardens much faster. Is that it? Okay, that was definitely much faster, but still, these things are beasts. Cool, so now we have a working warden farm. But at the moment, to spawn wardens, I need to stand on this block here, which isn't the worst thing, I'll be honest. It's honestly probably fine as is, but there's one more thing we can add so we can make this farm work while we're not standing right here. So we're going to add a little tiny bit of redstone. So now we add a piston. And then we just need an observer going into a block here. All right, and just a single bit of string there. And now I believe should be able to activate this with an arrow. I don't know if arrows from infinity bows work. Okay, wait, I was being dumb. All I had to do was fix the uh, the ticks on these repeaters here. And uh, this does work fine. All I have to do is get it started to begin with. Then once a warden spawns, you just need to shoot right in between there. There we go. Now it's working, finally. So now that this warden farm was up and running, it was time to test its limits. Let's see just how many Wardens we can kill in one hour with this farm. Let's check out how many Wardens I managed to kill. 233 Wardens killed, and I now have a ton of Skulk Catalyst. Huge thank you to Raiseworks for designing this farm. If you want to build it for yourself, I've linked their original video down below. And if there's anything to be learnt from this video, it's that it doesn't matter how scary a mob may be, it will never stop the Minecraft community from finding an easy way to farm it. By the way, over the last month, I moved across the entire world. And if you're interested to know more about that, make sure to check out the vlogs I made on my second channel while I've been away. But now that I've properly settled into the UK, it means you won't have to wait so long for the next video.